And here we are with Teacher Odie. I'm coming. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Here's Teacher Odie joining us today. And I'm Teacher Zola. From, we're both from the School of Healing Martial Arts in Long Beach, California. And um, we're certified Tai Chi instructors. But Odie's been doing capoeira for how many years? I, I have been in the game for approximately 40-some years. Uh -huh. I started in 1979, 80, okay. something like that. Uh -huh. and That's what they say when you, when you play Capoeira. They call it being in the game because it is a game. Okay. Hello, Cedric. Hello, Umwadi. Hello. Eve Martin. Eve Martin. Darius Timba. And, uh, and Mariah. <laughs> Master Mariah in Brazil. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Well, um, I'm Teacher Odie. I'm going to do a warm-up for you. Sure. Okay. You can take a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We start off with something called the curl, and then go from there to stretching down to touch your little toes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some people are more enthusiastic about it than others. If you can touch your toes, then you're enthusiastic. If you can't, then you may not be so enthusiastic. Well, touch your thighs. But go as far as you can. Okay. Uh, we'll explain each exercise as we go through it, and beginning with the curl. All right. Like this, hands on hips. Mm -hmm. It helps to do it with a friend. Yes. So you curl. As you can see, Teacher Zola has a deeper curl than I do because she's younger mm -hmm. and more flexible. I'm only 71 and you're 83. Well, that <laughs> tells me something. <laughs> you do about 20 of these, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then take a deep dive down to the ground. If you can't go down to the ground, just go as far as you can, okay? Lean forward a little bit to stretch your hamstring right here in the back. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Don't chill too far or, or you'll fall on your head. Right. And that's not good for your brain. It certainly isn't. Sometimes I like to stretch over to the side because I'm flexible. But if you're not flexible, don't do that. <laughs> Sometimes I like to see her go to the side because it is flexible. Now, as you come up, bend your knees like you're lifting a 300-pound weight and slowly come up. Yes. Now we're going to rotate the head on our necks. If you have more than one head, don't rotate but one at a time. Exactly. Around to the left. We usually start off on the left for most exercises. That's because of the heart. Okay, let's go back to the right. And then rotate the shoulders to the front. Try to keep your hands as close to your thighs as possible. Mm. Back. Don't take it so seriously, just do it. Mm -hmm. Front. If you can move your head from side to side as you do this, it gives you a little extra 
But if you can't, don't. No. I don't. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is your wrist. That's right. That's my wrist. <laughs> Take your left hand, bend your wrist down, just flex it. When you get to be as old as I am, you'll be able to enjoy this because it means that your body is still working. Mm -hmm. Indeed. You're not a robot. You're not a robot. These joints remain flexible because you flex them. Ah, very good. This is called flexing your wrist. Flexing your wrist. Uh-huh. Like one young lady said, will I break my wrist if I flex it too much? No, you won't. I oh. hope. <laughs> <laughs> and now, okay. take your hand straight out the way she's doing. Now grab the bottom of your, of your fingers and pull just a little bit. Count 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. And let's go to the other side. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now shake it out so that it makes you feel very loose, like somebody who is full of beans, junky okay. beans. Well, I woke up late this morning. You know, I like to get up at 5, and I got up at 8 because I went to well, bed. Well, I haven't been to bed, so it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> okay. And so when I wake up, I like to just shake the whole body. <laughs> now, put your heels together. Put your hands behind your head. For women, it might be a little bit if you open up your legs. No problem. Okay. Of our skeletal back. Build. Just a little bit, just a little back to give your spine a chance to. A little arch, not a big arch. Not too much. Let's do this 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, this is the fun one. Take your hands and pull up like someone has you on a, on a, on a string, like your puppet, yes. and just rock back and forth. Go around in a circle if you like. I like to do this one. I like to Now let's just stop in place and count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now this is the hula hoop. You swing your your hands in one direction, and your hips are going to another direction. We'll do this twenty times. Ten one way, ten the other way. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Stop. Go the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Remember to pull up. Seven. Eight, nine, nine yes. ten. Take, we'll take a little breath. Don't forget to breathe. Now we're going to do this. This is when we touch your toe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19, 20. Yes. So if you can't touch your toes, turn and just touch your thighs. That's good. Or your knees. Okay. Okay. Just. You see a lot of people who exercise do this one. Just relax your arms and turn your waist. Try not to put a lot of tension in your body as you loosen up because the idea is to loosen up, not to tighten up. Yes, no strain. Watch Teacher Zola, who is very loose. You see how her hands go all the way around behind her body? I can't do that <laughs> because my arms are not that long. Oh, Dad. <laughs> She had the longest arms you've ever seen nah. for somebody so small. <laughs> Look at her arms, boys and girls. Turn around to the back again. Can you do that? <laughs> don't try. <laughs> but as long as your arms grow, they don't go down past your knees, you'll be okay. <laughs> All right. Let's rotate our hips. Okay. Now some uh, people like to rotate the hips with their hands in front, and some people like to rotate with their hands in back. Do what is comfortable for your body. This is a time for you to learn what is comfortable for your body. Oh, incidentally, if you were wondering about my t-shirt, I was wearing this in solidarity with my friend down at the Department of Justice, Zola, Teacher Zola's former workmates to let them know that we think about them. Yes. And Hi, mine, Lily. <laughs> yes, and mine is from the School of Healing Martial Arts, Soma t shirt. All right, and uh, this is just the one that says Soma. Uh, they have one that says, When I move, I meditate. I like wearing that one too. Okay, let's put our feet together. And we're going to rotate our knees. Knees are together too, okay? So if you can't, make sure you're not putting your hands on top. Make sure they're supporting on the sides. If you have knee problems, do not do this. Let's do this 10 times. Mm -hmm. Or the young. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, okay. my part is over. Now it's time for her part. Okay, my part, we're going to do the eight brocades. All right? Now, with the eight brocades, you put your feet together, okay? Put your feet together. You put your hands together like this. Make sure you have enough room. Don't close. Other way. And so we're going to breathe in and step out to the left. And then the arms come out, breathe out. You breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. So this is lifting the sky. Breathing in, turn your hands, breathing in, and breathing out. If you can't breathe in all the way to the top, breathe in, and then when you turn and flip your hands, breathe out, and then breathe in again. Two more times. Okay, now Archer pulls bow. With the Archer pulls bow, watch me first, okay? You're going to bring up your arms, watch me. You breathe in as you point out, and when you breathe out, you turn your hand that's close to your chest, you turn your head, hand, and your head and face front. The head faces front, 
and the arm continues to the side. We start with our left side. So let's do it. Again. Breathing in on the right side. Shatney. Put your messenger bone. Okay. Now separating heaven and earth. Heaven up there, earth down here. Okay. So well, can I suggest something? Uh -huh. Before you start. Bring your hands together to see if you can feel a little energy. It's not like a magnet. Like a magnet. So as you go up to heaven and down to earth, try to pass your hands together close enough to feel that energy. So I just suggest. Okay. Okay. So breathing in, turning your wrist, and pulling your Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing in. Last time. Breathing in. all looks over shoulder, all right? With this one, you turn your waist, your hips first, your waist, your shoulders, and then your neck. Be sure to relax your neck. Do not tense up. Relaxing your neck and turn around and look at the same point if you can behind you, all right? So we're starting with our left, and you breathe in as you turn, and then you breathe out as you come forward, okay? Let's do it. Breathing in. Breathing in. Breathing in. All right. Now, after the owl, we have a dragon. All right. And we'll see if you hear a dragon. But this is a dragon drinking from the river. All right. So the dragon has been flying all night. It sees a river and it wants to drink. So you breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out as you come down, then breathe in all the way around and breathe out, okay? Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in all the way around, breathe out as you come to the front, okay? Don't be surprised if you hear the dragon sipping water from the river. All right, let's go, two dragons. to mention sometimes you put your shoulder into it but I did the simple modified way this time and did you hear the dragon okay, okay. <laughs> very nice dragon okay after the dragon drinks from the river we have to nourish the kidneys so 
Sometimes when we cut nerves to kidneys, you can touch the back, or if you feel you have a lot of chi in your hands, you may not want to just touch the back, but just go down the side of your side, back side, but out touching, okay, from the kidneys down. So we're breathing in, breathing in, slight arch of your back, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathing in, Breathing in. Breathing in. Breathing in. And the last time, breathing in. Breathing in, and out. Come up to shoulder then, and you roll your shoulders back, and down. Okay, that's pretty cool. Right. Now, we are going to have a punch with angry Larry Barnes. And so, <laughs> you bring it up. Now, there are two ways of doing this. You can breathe out as you come out and then grab energy, breathing in and then breathing out again. Okay. But I'd like to do it Master Tom's way. So, uh, Master Tom says breathe in with a very relaxed arm, then catch your energy taking another deep breath in, and then breathing out, coming back, all right? So this is Master Tom Tran's way. All right, ready? And like I said, that punch of angry eyes is taught in various ways. Now, one of our favorites that you should do every day because it works the lymph system, which takes all the yucky stuff out of your body, um, is you're going to go up in your arms, up on your toes, and then down. Up, down. Let's do it 20 times. Uno, dos, tres. Cinco, uh, ocho, nueve, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Thank you very much. Got to get back to my Spanish county. <laughs> All right. Eleven is doce. No, that's twelve. Those are years, 12, yeah. All right, so um, I would ask you if you're going to help us learn a little of the capoeira kicks or moves. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. uh, can we step right over here? Uh -huh. What I would like to suggest we do, since we've been doing this uh, for a little while together, is demonstrate the basic movement in capoeira. Capoeira has two different styles. The old style is called capoeira angora. And then the new style, which dates from about 1937, that was established by Master Bimba in Bahia, San Salvador, Brazil, is called Hegenau. So you have Capoeira Angola and Capoeira Hegenau. We're going to be doing Capoeira Hegenau.
And we'll start off with the jingle. This is really nice if you have a partner. Teacher Zola makes a good partner for me because she's a good dancer. Now, this is the jingle. You start off facing each other. And if I have my foot forward, her foot should be forward. That leaves your other foot behind. Now, if I bring my other foot up, she brings her other foot up, and my other foot goes back. So, let's start with a certain kind of rhythm. If your foot is forward, your hand should be on that side, like wave hands in Tai Chi. One hand is at the top blocking, and one hand is at the bottom blocking, so that you are covering the whole front of your body, and you're not being in any danger. There are a lot of little tricks you can do when you do the jingle to try to confuse your partner. For example, you can <laughs> do something that's unexpected. That, that makes a fun thing. <laughs> ah, you see? What fun it can be. It can be fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the jinga. We don't want to work too much. Okay. The yeah, and also oh, yeah, and also with the jinga, some people are doing the jinga which don't. all my instructors are, are putting their foot in the back. They're don't doing. do that. Don't do that. And you can well, why would you not do that? Don't cross your feet in the back. What would happen? Because well you do it. Mm -hmm. So face me, face okay. me. If she makes the jinga and she crosses her feet, go ahead, cross your feet. It means that she's off balance. And it's easy to knock her down. Yes. And then with most martial arts, it's rare that you'd be putting your feet together. All right. Or there. Yeah. Okay. There's uh, some Tai Chi where you go down like that, but um, that's not in fighting mode, <laughs> okay? Um, you don't have someone attacking you while you're doing it. No, 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 no. Okay, we're going to do, that's the basic movement. We're going to do three uh, separate movements. The language of type, the language of capoeira develops so that I say one thing to her, it's like a dialogue, it's like a, communications. I do this, I say this, she answers. I do this, she answers. So first I'm going to do the jinga and then I'm going to kick. The kick is called a bainson. I do the bainson, she does skiva. I do, she does bainson. I do skiva. Got it? Bansa, skiva. Jinga, bansa, skiva. You got three words now. Jinga, the basic movement. Bansa, skiva. One more time. Jinga, bansa, skiva. Put my hand up here. To block in case the person is not trying to do it deliberately, but the foot might slip and hit you in the head. Mm -hmm. So always protect yourself. Mm -hmm. Let's do Benson. I mean, uh, Jinga. I mean, you do you first. Okay. I'm going to yeah. do it. I'm going to do it Benson on that side. Come on. Come on with it. Now, the other side. The closer you are, the more interesting it is. Yeah. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, the second movement, which is an attack, is called Hashtera. Hashtera is a sweep. It's like that. She's going to do Jenga Hashtera. <laughs> Jingando, Jingando, you first. <laughs> She goes at the foot that's forward. That's it. The other side. I would be down on the ground now, the other side. Huh. Now my turn. Hoppa! Ah. Then I go to the other side. Ah. 
Okay. We're going to finish this off with one other movement. Kukuhina Bansa. Kukuhina. You're doing the jinga. Jinga. And then Kukuhina Bansa. Oh. So one thing leads to another thing. Okay. At any point, I can demonstrate a little malicia. Oh. You know, a little tricky stuff. Uh -huh. So I'm doing. So you're doing the jingle. Why are you doing kukihina and. You do skiva. I do skiva. Yeah. Okay. Skiva, always, if you want to get away from it. Okay. Or you can just back away. Well, okay. So when you do kukihina. I'm doing a bangston on you? You come up doing bangston. Okay. Go, go to Kuka, Kuka Hina and come up. Boom. Okay. And in the meantime, I'm just doing the jinga. Yeah. <laughs> you do doing the old man jinga? <laughs> All kinds of jinga. You can do the jinga <laughs> however you want to do it. <laughs> See? The teacher already makes you laugh, hey. and then you end up <laughs> not That's paying right. attention. <laughs> then you back her to the corner, and you do watch. <laughs> you see that? The important thing is to make your opponent uh, unaware. Unaware. Definitely. Okay. okay. Let's do Kukuhina Jinga, I mean Kukuhina Bainson, just one time. Okay. On both sides. Okay. You doing it? Okay. All right. Let me one more time. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and then do. Step forward when you do it. Okay. I'm going to the other side. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay. Okay. I haven't done that in a while. I do appreciate that. Uh, what's the move that I finally learned? Excuse me? What's the move that I finally learned? Uh, the movement is called Keshada. Keshada. Yes. It only taken me yes. about... 20 years, but see, Eve, I can yeah. do it. I can do it now. Not three, but. <laughs> it takes a little practice, but uh, it's it's called Keshava, and you start off with, from the Jinga, and then if you go going to the, your left, turn slightly this way, this way to defend yourself against somebody who's trying to kick you, and then you respond <laughs> Doing different things. Yes. Capoeira is fun, especially Haitian hey, Al. Capoeira okay. Angola is a little bit more serious. Yes. But, but uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Teacher Odie. Mm -hmm. Again, this is Teacher Sola and Teacher Odie. If you like this move, sign up for our YouTube channel and um, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. Next time I'll wear my new shoes. Today I didn't want to because I knew I was going to be doing Caparera a bit. And it is very kind of hard on the shoes. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go.